Quick video, around an hour ago, uh, WhatsApp experienced an outage in the sending and receiving of their messages effectively. And uh, obviously, uh, my family uses WhatsApp and I use WhatsApp on a daily basis. That's why uh, it became big news. I had to talk about it. How about we jump into it? So it's very early report, obviously. Uh, we don't know anything. Uh, WhatsApp addressed the situation. They are working on it. I believe it's being elevated right now. It's almost fixed, actually. But being curious, what I did is I looked at my phone. It's like, okay, can I do a man in the middle to see what exactly is going down here, right? I can't because the man in the middle proxy doesn't support quick because WhatsApp is a Facebook company and they moved to completely to quick and HTTP3 back in 2019, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. I made a video about that actually. So I can't intercept quick messages. So I need the WhatsApp web. So to use DevTools because that's the first thing I came in mind. So I whipped up WhatsApp web, run it, and fair enough, I can connect to WhatsApp.com. I can resolve all the domains. So nothing has to do with the DNS itself. The DNS resolution is working perfectly. You can connect to WhatsApp.com. You receive content from WhatsApp.com. You receive con content from this. all the CDNs, all the images are up and running, all the APIs working. But, you know, so that, that tells me that the, the, the connection between you and WhatsApp front end edge servers are completely isolated from the actual problem. What was the problem? So in the web, WhatsApp web, they're using web sockets for actual sending and receiving the messages. So yeah, they're using web sockets on the web. I don't believe they are using web sockets on the phone. They're probably using a, a custom quick protocol. They're using, they, they have a specific quick client they, they built and probably they're using it in the phone. They can't use it, use it on the web, obviously, because in the web, you have to use HTTP. You can't use anything else. You're on the web, right? But yeah, for a quick lesson for those who don't use WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp have four icons. The first icon is an hourglass. If you get it on an hourglass, it means that your message not even sent. Like it couldn't leave your phone or it left your phone, it reaches the front end servers, but something happened and we got an error. So it didn't even deliver to the uh, WhatsApp servers. The second one is just a single tick. It means, hey, we, rece we received it as a WhatsApp, ser WhatsApp servers. We received it, and it's there. And that's the outage. We, we get a single tick most of the time. At least I did. Right? Maybe some of you got a, an hourglass. But now, what, once, you, the, once the message gets to the WhatsApp server, what happens next is the scheduler, WhatsApp schedule will pick that message from the queue and then deliver it to the recipient's queue. And that's when you get two ticks, right? And then once the recipient re reads the message, that's when you get a blue, two blue check marks effectively. So that's what the life cycle of a message, if you will, right? Uh, so I see when I send a message, I see one tick. I look at the web, web message, the web, web socket messages, I see my message going on. Obviously, it's encrypted, and even DevTools can't look at the messages. You might say, saying, why? Well, DevTools does decrypt the TLS connection. We're not talking about TLS here. There's another layer of encryption. Yeah, DevTool does show you the, the messages before it's encrypted, but <laughs> WhatsApp uses end-to-end -end encryption. So they already agreed on a symmetric key between me and whoever my recipient are, and those are encrypted at the client side. So, and then sent. So that's what DevTools sees. So I can't see the actual message. And immediately after I send the message, I get a ping back immediately. So the server actually responds to me. And that's what asynchronous communication is all about, right? You send and you get a response back. Very powerful, very quick. And th that, that tells me that they, hey, we just delivered you message. That means the message received delivers the wrong word, delivered to the WhatsApp servers. So that means the queue management is working, right? I can post my message and it reaches the WhatsApp server and it stays there for a while. I believe that's their architecture. And the fact that I got an, a response immediately, that means it's, it's awesome, right? So at least I got my message off of my phone, you know? Uh, 
sometimes you you regret this right sometimes you don't want your message to leave <laughs> your phone right it feels like if you send a message very, very quickly it's like, ah i regret sending a message so we know that the messages were delivered to whatsapp and this portion is up and running and the queue is up and running the scheduler which picks those messages from the queue and process them and send them to its destination that is what's gone wrong looks like it from the early investigation that i did right so this tells me that maybe they pushed an update to the back-end scheduler you know the the, the processor if you will which which is really surprising because they are using Erlang and Erlang you don't really need you don't take anything down it's a it's a hot update to the process itself brilliant I never used it but that's what I read about it's just genius you know design uh, as a programming language you know you just you, you can hot patch a running process how cool is that you know so I believe that they always bragged about this feature you know I remember in their in their uh, in their videos but yeah that sounds like this is the outage i don't know if we hear more information we'll definitely i'll definitely keep you up to date guys uh, what do you think about the outage have you been affected of course you are <laughs> of course you were if you were uh, using whatsapp uh, let me know i'm gonna keep you up to date goodbye